Today I want to share with you another quick tip for using your Active Slate in your classroom every day. Today we're going to focus on using the software program Pixie. Pixie 3 is a software from Tech for Learning that is part of every elementary and middle school installation in Frederick County. And so I'm going to bring up Pixie down here. And once you've launched Pixie, you can go into the Project button and come down to the green backpack which is where the activities are and today I'm going to use a language arts activity but you can see that there's math science and social studies so you're gonna want to definitely take some time to explore that and then maybe make some notes about what activities that might work with some lessons that you know that are coming up soon but let me open up a language arts activity and I'm gonna go into reading and alphabet and we're gonna alphabetize so in this particular example you could bring up this activity which you could print off for the students or they could have uh, uh, cutouts where they would alphabetize letters and you're trying to alphabetize up to in this particular instance the third letter so you would simply just click and drag the words to reorder them within any of the different boxes and so what you'd want to have to do is you'd want to have the students doing this at your at their seats either by cutting them out or maybe renumbering them and then they could come up to the board and they could actually show what they know at the board so we always want to start either in a small group situation and then come to the board as a whole group uh, way to show what you know or start the board as an explanation go back to the seats for some individual or group work and then come back up and see what the results are one of the nice things about all the pixie templates is they are definitely customizable and if you need to customize a template you may have to come up and do what's called unlock so here, as in this case I've clicked the title here alphabetized to the third letter and I come up to the options menu and I just simply uncheck the box that says lock and now I could change it so if you just wanted to alphabetize uh, say to the second letter you could just type second letter here first letter or what have you same with the words I can change all the words by double clicking the words and then just renaming the words that way. So after you take a little bit of time exploring the project and activity menu, you may want to go over to the Tech for Learning website because they now have a document that helps you see how you can use Pixie with the Common Core. So the Tech for Learning website is www.tech4learning.com slash Pixie and down here at uh, the bottom right hand corner they've got Common Core Guide for Pixie and if you click on get the guides you fill out a little uh, form and then eventually you come to this PDF and the PDF has for all grade levels K through 5 which is really nice so we're going to take a look at second grade language arts and in second grade language arts let me zoom in a little bit uh, it kind of explains here's some of the Common Core language and take this with a grain of salt because we know that uh, Maryland will tweak it a little bit but you can kind of see how if we go down to let's look at number two here uh, recounting stories including fables and folk tales from diverse cultures and it talks about uh, some of the activities that they have and how you can use pixie and it says click the project button click activities in the templates folder at open the booklet activity so I would just go back to pixie go to project activities templates and there is the booklet activity right here so you can have students start to begin to write their own stories and their own narratives to satisfy that um, part of the common core so this is definitely a document that you may want to keep handy as you explore pixie and the common core if you have any questions you know how to contact me and i'll see you soon